Hey guys, it's Shelby. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be decluttering and organizing my kitchen. Since moving into this house, I haven't done much decluttering at all. It's really just been putting items away and organizing to make things functional for now. This is really the time of year that I like to do my decluttering. Either way, it's cold outside. There's not a lot to be done out there, so I might as well start working on things in the house as well as just after the holidays. For me right now, this is the day after Christmas, so after receiving gifts, bringing them into the home, putting them away, I start to realize I have an overabundance of things that I don't really need. So that's why we're starting here today, and let's get started decluttering. I will be starting in my utensil drawer first for obvious reasons, it is overflowing. I did receive these wooden handle and silicone serving and cooking utensils, so, um, pretty much have one of everything. So I'm gonna be getting rid of um, a lot of the plasticky ones. I'm actually not gonna be getting rid of them. I am gonna declutter them, but then put them into my basement just to have them on hand if I ever need to take a utensil to someone else's house or if I'm having like a large party or something like that, I'll have them as backup. Um, but I did put some of them in this little um, utensil organizer on the counter, the ones that I use the most of just to make a little bit of space in here. But you can see I have duplicates of a lot of the same things and it's just not necessary to have them all appear in this drawer. This is already making me feel so much better. Um, I do like to use organizers inside of drawers just to keep things obviously organized and in their spots. Um, it just helps me stay organized. Um, so I do have these bamboo little drawer organizers. I think I got these from Amazon. They're adjustable. Um, so just kind of keep an eye on how deep your drawers are um, and go off of the measurements. And then a little bamboo bin. I can't remember where I got it. Honestly, probably Target. Um, I do keep my knives and all of my straws in this bin here. I didn't declutter anything from here. I actually did just do that recently because I brought new straws in. Um, I got, a lit, got rid of a lot of the duplicate items here. Um, I did keep some of the um, older items that I have, just a spatula that I use all the time, a couple other silicone spatulas, and a deeper ladle. I have a ladle obviously here, but it's not as large, so I just want to make sure I have one of those on hand. Um, I got rid of a couple things here, like my wine opener. I have an electric one. There's no sense in keeping another one up here right now. Um, this spot here I have like my whisks and my silicone brushes and mixer pieces. And then over on this side I have all of Randy's, my husband's like grill equipment and things like that. I didn't touch this side, so yeah, but looking much better. So this is the cabinet below. I won't be getting rid of anything, but I just wanted to show you everything is nice and organized in here, which I appreciate. I have all of my like sheet pans and baking equipment up here. I have a pizza stone there. Everything's nice and stacked and organized. You know where everything's at. Um, I just have an extra couple like pot holder things over there. All of my cutting boards stacked up alongside my cast iron, rolling pin couple of pots stacked up with the um, strainers or colanders and then in the back I have a little organizer where I keep all of the lids that go to my pots and pans. This cabinet up here, we pretty much keep nothing in. It's just our notebook that we use for our grocery list and a recipe book. This cabinet is just my dishes, which is pretty sparse right now, um, but organized. So something that I keep organized. This cabinet, I have a feeling I'm gonna have some things that are expired. So I definitely need to go through this. It's just all of my baking items. And then I want to kind of organize the cabinet a little bit better.
I'm not gonna lie, I had no idea I had so many expired items in my baking drawer, so I'm kind of skeeved out. Um, another reason I'm doing this today is it is my grocery day, so anything that is expired, I'm leaving on the counter for now. I can add to my grocery list if it's something that I do need to um, restock on, then that way I can add it to my list. Moving on to my, I call it my spice cabinet. I have all of my spices and some like syrupy things off to the side here. Um, so yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna have <laughs> several expired spices, so well, let's go through them. These cabinets are not going to be decluttered at all. This is all just my like plant stuff, my cleaning items for the kitchen. Top drawer is silverware. Again, with the drawer organizers, I really like the bamboo organizers, and it looks really well. Looks really good inside of the drawers as well. Um, and then I just have some pins and post-its back there, some labels for the spices, extra scissors. Um, sort of a junk drawer, but not really junky. Next drawer is all my hand towels, washcloths. I have my oven mitts, um, some mop heads. Um, and then I also keep my little pad in here that I use to um, put hand or hand washed dishes on it to dry. And then last drawer is all of like my aluminum foil, my parchment paper, saran wrap, and then a couple doggy treats and trash bags as well. So again, it is grocery day. Do not be alarmed by the lack of food in this refrigerator, but I do want to go through like all of my sauces and things. I know a lot of this has to be expired, so I do want to go through these and just check dates and get rid of some of the things that I need to to um, make room for the new groceries. I'm actually surprised that my freezer needed as big of a declutter as it did. Um, a lot of it was just steamed veggies and things on like side items that I haven't used and those ice packs you saw me take out. I've just been waiting to plug in and get our, our deep freeze going so I could move those down to the deep freezer and that freed up a lot of space, which was great. Um, this cabinet here is an air fryer, which I actually just got a brand new, like larger air fryer for Christmas. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one up here just in case I do need to use it or if I need to take it somewhere with me Plus I have the space for it. There's no point in putting it downstairs when it fits there just perfectly I have some baking pans some like measuring bowls and a pitcher in This cabinet I have more small appliances. I have my crock pot like instapot type thing a food processor a mixer a rice maker a Belgian waffle maker, a mini waffle maker, and a um, ninja blender. This cabinet, although it may look 
um, unorganized. It's very organized. It's very deep, but I keep everything in it right here just because it's impossible to reach back there. So the top shelf is just all candy. Don't judge me, okay? It was just Christmas. I had a shit ton of candy. <sighs> anyway, so that top shelf is candy. And then I have like plasticware, cups. Um, there's also some baking stuff off to the side there, like um, icing bags and sprinkles and stuff like that. That's why I have um, icing in there. And then down there, I just have extra like grocery bags. And then this last cabinet is extra coffee mugs, coffee items, Tupperware, storage containers. I am gonna go ahead and just kind of organize this a little bit. I'm getting ready to put Christmas stuff away. So a lot of these mugs will go up onto my shelf and won't be such a cluster F in here. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of clean up my Tupperware and stuff a bit. So I just wanna give a quick overview of the amount of things I'm throwing out, just to show you all of the crap that was in my cabinets that um, was either expired or just not being used. Um, also, this crock pot belongs downstairs, so that'll be going down there. This pitcher used to be in this cabinet, um, and I just don't, I don't need it up here. So again, it's gonna go downstairs as an extra backup. These are parts that just came with my new air fryer that again, I'm gonna put downstairs. They're like rotisserie parts, which I highly doubt I'll be using much of. And um, this toaster, I don't know if I'm gonna see if somebody wants it, pitch it, put it downstairs. But again, I did just get a brand new, beautiful retro toaster. So um, yeah, that's going away somewhere. Um, all the freezer stuff, all the utensils that are going away, ice packs that are going in the deep freeze. Um, and then some coffee things that are going away as well. Okay, so kitchen is fully decluttered. I feel so much better now. I really hope I was able to motivate you to do some decluttering in your own homes. And I hope you all have a very lovely new year. Be safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. This is really the time of year that I like. I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? Go lay in there.